WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, giving you the 9 a.m. update. The Dow closed at 25,887 yesterday. The futures are down 16, just a little right now. And uh, normally, if we are, sp if the, that reversal yesterday, under normal conditions, the following session should actually have a very weak futures in the S&P and the Dow. So far, it's just very mild. The S&P is down. Futures are down two and a half. And as I say, the Dow is just down minus 20. You got the Fed meeting today. So if the Dow is, say, plus 40 at around about 2.30 this afternoon, Eastern time, half an hour after the Fed minutes come out, that'll be a good sign. If it's minus 40 or more, it says, well, expect some weakness going into uh, Friday as well. So uh, that's, the, the, that's the Dow. The QQQ uh, closed uh, yesterday at 1. Uh, 79.05 is trading down 15 cents right now, 178.90. So the futures are down a little bit. Good, good candle uh, with good technicals yesterday. And that says 178 should be good support today. And if it's just a nice hold in the 230 time frame, it says we could still go a little higher over the couple of, next couple of days. The gold contract right now is up. It was down a little bit. It's now up a dollar and a half. That is good action, not great. It really needs to get to the 13, <clears throat> to 1308. It needs to get to the 1315, 1322 level over the coming day or two, and that'll say, hey, that's a nice breakout. And if it pulls back 1300 to uh, 1298, it's good support. The dollar is a little bit weaker here. The dollar at this point is, uh, is unchanged. Uh, here is the same sort of thing. It needs to get to the 9670s. It's at 9640 right now. If it closes under 9060 in the next two days, that says dollar is going to go down quite a bit more. And if you're looking at crude oil, crude oil is at 58.81. It's down 48 cents. Uh, this is going to be very interesting because it looks to me like it could have another little bit of a pop, just this fractional new high, and then maybe stall. So crude oil is holding okay. It's had a very nice week. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, once again, Basil Chapman, this is the TFN 9 a.m. Eastern Time Update. I'll be back in a few minutes to do Larry Pazavento's show. Stay tuned.